thank you so much for having a chance to speak with me because I know this is very busy. I mean, you've got rehearsals, you've got the show going on, you've got a great holiday uh, show that's happening. Uh, this is great for Toronto, and it's something that has become a tradition because of the style and, of course, the production behind it. For folks who have no idea what I'm talking about, please explain to them what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, you were talking about the Ross Petty Pen. Well, this is the 24th production, which happens every Christmas, and it has happened at the Elgin Theatre. Um, every year, but this year we're in the Winter Gardens, which is really special because the Winter Gardens is perfect for doing Robin Hood. You know, the inside of the Winter Gardens, if you if, if your listeners haven't seen it, it's just beautiful. There's leaves everywhere, and you feel like you're walking into the forest when you come into the theater. Absolutely. And for folks in O2, they've actually sort of redone it a bit. They've uh, done some playing everything else. It just looks absolutely stunning and amazing. You're absolutely right about this. Now, for folks who don't know about this type of production, can you explain about it, please? Because this is not just comedy. It's not just, you know, a lot of fun, but it's also a big connection with Toronto. It is, yes. Because of Ross Petty, it's a, a huge connection to Toronto. So it's um, Matt Murray wrote the script, who is an incredible playwright. He is so funny. And Tracy Fly directed, and she has directed, I think that's 19 productions she has directed um, for Ross. And so a panto is a style of, of theater uh, originated in, in London or in Britain where there's a lot of audience participation. So you have your hero who you cheer for, and then you have your villain, that's me, who you boo for. And the whole piece is a mashup of Little Red Riding Hood and Robin Hood. And the whole piece is written to have um, references to what is happening uh, in our current climate right now. So this one, this panto this year focuses on um, education and the rights for education and the rights for teachers, which is really awesome and needed. So that's the best part about doing the panto is that there's always a political statement in it. Last year we talked climate change in The Wizard of Oz, and this year we're talking about uh, rights for teachers. Well, I've been able to go to these shows, and I, I think they're amazing. The thing I love, too, is the fact just because you've gone to one show, could be a little bit different from the next one because it all depends on what's going on in the news. Also, so something <laughs> can be changed up uh, in the next show just because of yeah. what, uh, an incident that. That's the most, I mean, it, it really is a gift. I feel so blessed to be doing the contract. You know, it's it's such a gift. And Eddie Glenn, um, who is my, my partner in crime out there, we're, we are given such free reign to respond to what's given by the audience or what's happened in the current news. I mean, Andrew Shear is is in the script right now because of everything that's happening. So it's pretty fun. We laugh a lot. Too much, probably, but we laugh a lot. And that's the other thing, too, because as you said, you don't know what's going to happen on stage. I mean, I've seen Ross do his thing in the past before, too. And even when uh, he is a master what he does, sometimes it yes, could be yes. a line flubbed. Um, yeah. And he <laughs> does so well in adjusting that flub to the story if somebody – and not encouraging it but if somebody says something or even sneezes he had this way of connecting that sneeze with the storyline and i have to assume you folks are doing the exact kind of same thing too oh thank you yeah it's i really enjoy that part of the show and it is very exciting to go out there every night and to find out what is going to be given to you what how the audience is going to feed your performance and and help lift it to the next level i mean it's fabulous when they yell out something that you can yell back. Uh, it's it's a really, really great experience. Speaking of experiences, because you are playing the villain, how mm -hmm. does it feel being booed? I mean, Ross was, <laughs> again, a master at that. How has it taken over that role? Well, it's funny, you know, people ask me that. And last year was my first year of being the villain um, for, for this panto. And I remember finishing my big first number, like the very first time we had an audience. I finished Hot Stuff, held a big note, finished, and like the whole audience, boo! And I remember having this moment of, oh, like an alarm of, wow, that is a strange feeling to have an entire <laughs> audience boo you. And then... As it goes on, you you want you want to hear the boos the way you want to hear the applause. Like it just feeds you the boos. If they're not booing you, you're doing something wrong, you know. Well, I know you guys are doing something right because to be able to have this type of performance happening for so many years, and again, it's a tradition in Toronto. We are so grateful to have this. Now, 
because as we speak, folks are probably starting to you know get to their uh, vacation, Christmas vacation, holiday vacation. How do we get tickets so we can make this part of our attrition again? That is a very good question. You will call 416-872-1212, 416-872-1212. And it's exciting because we're here every day but Christmas Day. So there are lots of lots of available days for you to come and see the show. Looking Don't miss out. It's a great thing to bring your family to, you know, when you're when they're in town as well. And the other thing I want to make mention too, which is really important too, yes, of course, it is a big family event, but just because you don't have kids doesn't mean you can't go as adults because this is one of the few shows that has the right balance between family with kids and just adults going. It's true. That is the balance of a bento, is that there are the jokes that are for the kids have two meanings. And there are the jokes are for the adults here. We talk about how when a kid hits a certain age that they start to get the adult jokes. We like to say, welcome to the dark side of the panto, because they start to understand the double references. And that's a very exciting time when they're right at that age where they get both. Oh, my goodness. It kind of reminds me when I finally started getting the Flintstones and Bugs Bunny. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, right? When you see the, when you hear the humor and hear the jokes in a new way, you know, hit that point in your in your life. It's exciting. Absolutely. Look, I want to say thanks so much for taking the time because I know this is a busy day for you. I am looking forward to being there at the show to cheer on the uh, the heroes, and of course, I'm so looking forward to booing you. So thank yeah. you again, and uh, happy holidays. And again, happy holidays you so, to you too. Thank you so much for what you guys are doing for us. Take care. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.